So, how to make money in photography in 2019? Let's go find out. Hi guys, my name's Sam Wordley and thanks for coming to my channel. Uh, today we're going to find out how to make money in photography in 2019. First off, you need to shoot more. Hang on, not you, we need to shoot more. I'm not going to stay here and say, oh, you need to do this and I'm the greatest photographer in the world. No, I'm a photographer just like you. I'm out there. It's getting harder in the industry to make money, so uh, we need to shoot more. Every day, you need to be using your camera gear. Uh, it, photography is a craft. It's, you know, it's a skill, it's art, but it's also a craft. So the more you practice your craft, the better you're going to get. So your online presence in 2019, we all need to be on Instagram and we all need a website, clearly. Um, Instagram, we need to be posting every day, several times a day if you can. And it's very important to keep your Instagram in one category. So if you're a wedding photographer, wedding photography. You're a microstock photographer like myself, microstock. Um, and with your websites, you know, it's, um, it doesn't, your website doesn't need to be amazing. It, your photos need to speak for themselves and just have a basic website with your contact details and your amazing photos. Luck. Isn't she lucky? Isn't he lucky? Wouldn't I love to have that job? What luck they've had. Luck is crap. No one is lucky in 2019. Everyone that's successful are working their butt off. It's down to 70% hard work and 30% talent. So just remember that. Outwork everyone and you should succeed. Say yes. Just say yes. To if it involves learning or meeting new people in photography, or doing another type of photography you've never done before, just say yes. Don't worry about the money. If it's poorly paid or it's not paid at all, just say yes because you know you never know where those contacts are going to lead to. And a famous photographer of mine said, I never booked my next job sitting on the couch. So get off the couch and say yes. Make a list of your dream clients. You know, if you want to work for Nike or Mercedes or BMW, you know, make this list. And then when you start thinking about shooting more and using your camera gear more, then, oh, I'm going to do something for Nike. I'm going to do something that maybe in six months I could go and show Nike or your local advertising agency or, or whatever. So shoot more and, uh, and just shoot directly for clients that you want to work for in the future. Look, I'm a firm believer in learning from others. And uh, I was a photography assistant for... A good part of 10 years and I learned loads from photographers um, and and this is not going to make you more money in in in, in 2019 but I believe it's really important uh, to find yourself a mentor um, find another photographer that maybe you can work with uh, offer your services for free offer to clean his car or, or clean his camera gear and uh, and follow him around and, and set up the lights because not only are you going to learn from a pro, you're going to, they're going to expose you to the contacts. You're going to be in the world. Uh, so, you know, it will lead to more things. So your work. Go to your local bar or coffee shop and have a chat with the manager or the owner. See if you can hang a small exhibition if you live in New York or, or London or even one of your, a small town. Go and speak to your local bar and coffee shop and see if you can hang your work. Maybe you sell a few prints or maybe that next client sees your work on the wall and asks, hey, who's the photographer? It's amazing work. LinkedIn portraits, okay? This is not a dream job by any stretch of the imagination, but it's bread and butter, you know? And also, it's very local. So you can find, you can find headshots in any city People need headshots worldwide. So, I mean, this is something you're going to need examples. So offer to shoot your friends, offer to shoot your family, get some examples and then go hit up the local real estate agency or go hit the bank and see if they need fresh headshots. Because in 2019, if you're a professional in any uh, facet, you need headshots. Professional headshots just make you stand out above the rest. Okay, another one, family portraiture. I mean, we all want to get that big commercial job or the advertising job. But, you know, family portrait, portraiture is another very localized market. So 
you can you you also need a portfolio for this so you start off with families and friends and uh, and once you feel comfortable uh, shooting a family in an hour um, then set your prices find out what people are charging in the area and uh, go and make some money bat shooting this works for family portraiture kids uh, sporting events um, LinkedIn portraits so Set yourself a weekend, two days, find a studio, rent a studio, or do an event outside, a family portrait. So batch sessions are more like, okay, I'm going to be here for eight hours and I'm willing to do family portraitures for 45 minute sessions and I, I can do 10 in a day. And maybe you, you give a 40% discount to your clients and run them once a year. It's great advertising for yourself. And also, you can make a lot of money. You, you are dropping your prices, but at the end of the day, you are putting all those jobs into one day, so it's quite cost-effective for you. Word of mouth. Okay, this seems really basic, but we all have friends and family. Uh, if you're running a, a family portrait weekend or a LinkedIn weekend, ask all your friends to share it with their friends. You'd be surprised on, on the reach that you get. You know, if you have 200 friends, maybe you get it up to 2,000 people that know about this event through advertising and marketing. And good friends and family don't mind. Look, work experience. I'm a big fan of work experience. Um, I know I said about finding a mentor uh, previously, but work experience, I mean, if you're interested in, in working as a, I don't know, extreme sport photographer, Maybe go and, and try and find uh, your Red Bull local advertising manager and offer to, to work for them at events for free, even not doing photography. Making contacts in any industry that you want to work by offering your services for free is the best way to get in the door. Microstock photography. Look, I know a lot about this because in the last five years, I've made 80% of my income from microstock. And it's not for everyone. Um, I live in Spain. I live in Madrid, Spain, and and it's a reasonably cheap market, cheap to live in Spain. So I don't need to make that much money. Um, the micro stock market is quite flooded. It is a very difficult market, but it's great. I get paid while I sleep. And uh, for anyone starting out in photography, and I, I said it about practicing your 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 skills. You should shoot more. You know, I shoot about four sessions a week at the moment, video and stills. And in the last five years, my, my skills, as a photographer might not have gone up, um, but as using the camera gear uh, day in, day out, you know, I can set the camera up faster, I can set the lights up faster, I know where everything is. Um, and, and for a student or someone starting out in photography, you're just gonna learn so much by submitting your photos to Microstock and, um, and getting them rejected. Uh, you know, like you're gonna say, oh, why have they been rejected? Okay, so I've over sharpened them or the branding needs to be taken out. You know, there's loads of things, but you will learn so much and, and maybe you'll love it and maybe, you know, you need a big portfolio, you need to work really hard, but it is possible in 2019 to make a living uh, in stock photography. Um, I plan on doing a eight part series from start to finish, from one, from being a stock photographer, so how you think about the ideas to uploading the photos, to shooting it, the whole thing. So subscribe and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'm gonna get there and get it done. YouTube, uh, look I, I've started YouTube and and you know my first video got 23,000 views, so thanks guys. Um, look. I haven't started YouTube to make money, it's more to learn how to shoot video and uh, improve my skills. But there's a lot of people killing it on YouTube. So YouTube is a, a very good avenue of making money. Um, the main way that people make uh, their money is by reviewing cameras and, and having affiliated links in Amazon. You know, this is, a, this is a great way. And to be honest, when I buy products now online, if I've watched a review, and the guy's really good and he explains the camera or the, or the woman explains the camera, I go and buy that camera through their affiliated link because it's not costing me any more money. And why not? This person's worked hard 
and you know why don't they get they end up actually it's quite a lot if you sell a an A7 Mark III, which I'm shooting on at the moment, and you will see my affiliated link below. <laughs> Just joking. Um, you get, uh, I think it's eight percent. So you know, like you're getting like hundred and sixty dollars if you sell that camera through Amazon, and it says it's not costing any more money for the the buyer. So why not? Wedding photography. Ooh, it's a tricky one. You know, uh, a lot of us don't like it. There's a, it's actually a very difficult thing to do. Um, but there's a lot of money in it, uh, you know, in it, and it's also a very localized market. Um, so if you want to be a wedding photographer, you you first of all need experience. Um, I think I've shot around ten or twelve weddings. Um, I'm okay. I'm pretty good at it, but I find it uh, too stressful in the day. And, and it, even though it, it is good money, it, there are very long days and there's a lot of editing, but there is good money to be made in it. Um, and there's a lot of people that find it quite difficult. So if you're good with people and you don't mind working 15 hours, 14 hours a day and editing a lot of photos, um, you know, there's, there is a lot of money to be made in it. And I said, it's a localized market. So, and there's being, there's people getting married every weekend. Um, go to your local church, uh, sign up with them. Uh, maybe, uh, make do a, a Instagram search of local wedding photographers in your area and once again work experience ring these guys up um, say hey look can I be your second shooter can I hold your camera can I clean your camera can I drive you uh, can I do anything and uh, I wouldn't go out and I wouldn't go and, and photograph a wedding for a friend and do it for free because one that's, you don't get a second chance. You can't go, oh, I'm gonna shoot that again. No, that's their memories for life. And also you're taking money off a, off a fully trained wedding photographer. So learn how to do it um, from a professional and then find, find the market prices and set yourself accordingly. Um, you know, there is a load to money, so give it a go. Real estate photography. There are thousands of houses sold each day and it's once again a very localized market. So, and it's it's paid quite well. I mean, a couple of my friends um, do it in Sydney, and they get paid I think around five hundred, six hundred dollars a house. Um, and when they they're quite good at it now, they can do a few houses in a day. Um, look, it's it's hard work. It's a lot of driving around, um, a fair bit of retouching and editing, and it's all all about the contacts. So if you want to do this, um, once again, go and find your local real estate agents, go and see them, see if you can shoot one or two houses for free for them, show them what you can do. And, uh, and I'm sure it's going to lead to more work if you want to, if you want to do that. Wow. Photographers, that was a lot. You know, there are many ways to make money in photography in 2019. Um, look, you know, I don't want to come across as, you know, the the professor or the teacher of, of all this. This is this is a few of my ideas and this is things that I want to do this year. Um, it's a lot to take in and I'm more pushing towards the micro stock end. But, you know, I, I think we all need to remember that 70% hard work, hard bloody work and 30% talent. And, you know, in this day and age, this is what we have to do. Hard work gets us to stand above the rest. Um, look, thanks so much for watching my video and, and please subscribe if you'd like to see the eight part series in the micro stock world and how to be a micro stock photographer. Look, I, I plan to do that in the next couple of weeks. So hit that subscribe and notification button. And uh, guys, keep shooting, shoot more. Remember, it's not the camera, it's the photographer always. And thanks a lot. See you later.